Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn our experiential theory of call Dragons. Let's get into this session. This theory was given by Carl Dragons. He said that the process of learning is fully related to experiences and the human beings learns anything due to his willpower. According to him, learning should be suitable to the needs and interests of the learners. Learning is facilitated when the learner participates responsibly in the learning process. Progress recognizes two types of learning. They are cognitive and experiential learning. Cognitive is memorization of facts. It encourages rote memory, whereas experiential learning is applied knowledge. The cognitive corresponds to learning vocabulary and multiplication tables. The experiential learning corresponds to learning about engine in order to repair a car. Now we are going to see the qualities of experiential learning. The experiential learning is characterized by personal involvement of the learner. It has the learning cycle consists of experience, reflect, conceptualize, experiment. It is self-initiated. In this, the learner willingly takes initiative to engage in such type of learning. It is characterized by self-evaluation and it leaves a pervasive effect on the learner. The assumption in this theory is all human beings have a natural tendency for learning and the role of the teacher and parents is helped to their children in their inherent desire for personal change and growth. Next, let's see the role of teacher in experiential learning. The teachers plays an important role in arranging a favorable and positive climate for learning. They help the learners to have clear-cut objectives and purpose of learning. Balancing intellectual and emotional components of learning. Organizing and making available learning resources. Sharing feelings and thoughts with learners in a democratic way. According to Rogger, learning is facilitated when threat to the self of the learners is minimum. Learners' resources and climates are in favor of the learners. Learning is based on direct confrontation with practical, social, personal or research areas. Self-evaluation is the principal method of assessing progress or success and the learner realizes the importance of learning and develops an openness as well as willingness to learn. This theory has a main aim that learning during the process of learning. It is independent in nature, also creativity and self-reliance are facilitated. Self-evaluation and self-criticism are basic in this theory. Carl Rogers through this theory advocates a humanistic and learner-centered approach to be adopted in classrooms by the teacher. Learning should facilitate the personal and social growth and development of learners by emphasizing more on application than on theory alone. My dear student teachers, as we are going to be the educators, learning should be suitable to the needs and interests of the learners. We should encourage the students to learn through experiences based on their individual differences. Thank you all. Meet you in the next session. Thank you.